Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I want to go talk about something that's been kind of a little bit on the weirder side too as well. I know one of my homies can also talk to me about this too, and I kind of have, usually do like to go look at these third-party pricings quite a bit, because as you guys know, our channel is at least as of this current moment. We'll definitely do other stuff in the future. Still has a bit of a nice restack focus and console focus and all of that. But when it comes to all this news, we've been seeing a lot more of these really weird things not really adding up. It does kind of seem like we're also still seeing a lot of these third-party resellers, so think like people trying to keep on like selling consoles and PlayStations and all of that, and basically try their best to maintain the price points as long as they can, and well, all these issues kind of are piling on up, and it kind of seems a little bit on the more suspicious side. So I'm going to talk about this and ramble about this, because it is kind of really weird to see this, that we have better, more proper bundles and proper items out that are also still pretty much not even like close comparative wise price wise so a lot of weird things kind of adding on up over here a lot of really strange things too so i want to go talk about it when it comes to all these playstation 5 scalpers i also kind of talk about the overall price points too as well because we haven't really talked about that in a few weeks as well if you guys are brand new give me your thoughts and comments down below leave a like if you guys want to of course make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway you know, the amazon links down below for the ps5 a disc and all that good stuff sign on ups you know, the twitter and twitch rooms down below the weeble coin bases down below and all that good old stuff too as well and i appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place so one really kind of intriguing thing i want to kind of bring up over here is the price disparity in these third-party sellers which i do want to say is a little bit on the sketchy side we have been seeing a lot more locations a lot more big tier locations think like best buy target amazon etc playstation directs and all those big old spots that have actually been in a lot more stock overall it's been nice to see we've been seeing some good stuff it's kind of been still you know depending some people still need their consoles or whatever totally get it but one of the really really big things i think with this one is if you guys look at the price point for these brand new horizon forbidden west consoles it does seem a little sketchy so we're seeing this right now it's at 635 for their last sale or we'll have a chance to sell for 615 or whatever for the price points for references over there which is very intriguing, because first and foremost, this is like actually kind of good news, where they're not really making too much profit. The console itself was $550, and that is also not factoring in taxes. So it's kind of nice where a lot of the price points and kind of people making overall money in the first place is definitely a little bit lower, which obviously is kind of nice because it kind of does tone down scalpers, does tone down hopefully botters, and kind of gets a lot more normal people again their consoles. But the one very intriguing thing to note is if you guys look at just the normal PlayStation 5 itself, by itself, like the US plug, it's pretty much the same thing, pretty similar to the other console, the price point is pretty much almost exactly the same. Now, this is very intriguing because it does kind of seem like a lot of these third-party sellers are trying their best to maintain up this normal, like the non-bundled console, up as high as they possibly can. Now, the big thing is that it's kind of intriguing because it's a $50 console or additional price for the console when it comes to the Horizon bundles. But you really don't get to have a chance to really reflect that. If you guys look at the last sale, it was $622. Whereas the last over here for $635. So there's only like a $13 price difference for Horizon itself, Horizon Forbidden West. Now if you guys also even look too as well for the digitals too, the digitals are still going crazy price point, where it's all, it's all like a $130 profit, which is almost even still crazy for me, because like the profit, like the disparity is not that big, it's like a, what, a $50 disparity, but the usual console itself is still usually $100 more when it comes to the normal console for the disc versus digital. So it almost kind of seems like in my mind that they're trying their best to go and then kind of bring up the price as high as they possibly can. Now it's really weird because you would think like now people would rather be getting these Horizon bundles, so whether it's the digital or disc, because they're just better priced at least for like a third party reseller. Especially because you're also getting like a pretty high in demand game, Horizon Forbidden West, that really hasn't gone on sale in quite some time, and has still been going pretty good. But it's really weird because if you guys also even factor on in some other stuff, so if you guys look like right there on the nice little angle, if you guys look at this, you guys can see Sony PlayStation 5 US Plug Dig Digital Edition, lowest asking price at $597, last sale $590. So I do kind of feel like this seems like a lot of these third-party people are more focused on trying to maintain these prices the best they can for as long as they can. Or to the point where I can almost assume that a lot of these scalping and scalping groups and botting groups might actually be trying their best to still be buying on the like these third-party markets. So think like Facebook, 
eBay or, you know, StockX or whatever, and they're trying their best to maybe maintain the stock the best they possibly can. And that means that they want to try to have, like, try to maintain a baseline point for these consoles. So let's say they're trying their best to keep it at, like, $600 the best they can. And I feel like it's almost kind of crazy both on their end, but as well on all these websites, because it just doesn't seem to really add up. Now, it might, I might kind of sound maybe crazy or conspiracy theorist, feel, I mean, feel free to think that, but from doing all this stuff for like 20 months now, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense on why they just never seem like they're actually getting fully, like, chill. Like I said, it really, like, why would anyone on the planet out here go and spend an extra, let's say, like, 20 bucks, what's the proper price point, $22 more for a console that you're not even getting the game on? Like, does anyone else kind of feel like that doesn't make sense? And I still stand by it doesn't really make sense. Or the same thing is, why would you not just go pay the extra 12 bucks to go get this brand new Horizon Disk Edition bundle, which you guys, like, saw before. I can show you guys right now. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Because, like, almost any person out here trying to go for these sales would almost, without a doubt, rather go and get their slightly better console. First and foremost, it costs $50 more by itself either way, like that's set by Sony prices. So it's just really weird that people are just not wanting to go and make that commitment. But I think it's even weirder with the digital where people are literally paying more money for less. It really doesn't make sense. And we've also been kind of seeing this disparity up a little bit when it comes to say eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Maybe it's just like, maybe people just don't necessarily know about the bundle still. I mean, I'm sure if like someone's kind of just doing their day-to-day -day work, not on top of YouTube videos or restock videos as much, there's always that chance, obviously. Uh, but it's really weird because it just doesn't like make, it doesn't add up. And that's why I'm saying, I think it seems like we're seeing a lot more of these third-party scalpers and botters trying their best to maintain the floor. So we actually have seen like, say, places like StockX and other various locations kind of being in that same exact boat. Or for them, they like just want to try to have it up as high as they can so they can kind of keep this restocking and like scalping thing going for as long as they possibly can because they're making good money still. Some folks have been making good money as well by still selling these consoles to other regions as we've covered up on the channel. You know, like to like to China where they have huge markups, Brazil, or like, you know, even in the UK or Canada. So it's just really strange to see that they just can't let this go. That they just can't let them be like, man, I need to make this money. I have to make as much money as I can. I have to keep on getting these digitals because they have the best profit margins. Which is still kind of crazy to me too because the PS5 digitals still have been pretty high up there. I mean, you're only saving like a little bit of money on this point <laughs> if you guys are even trying to get them on third party. Which is why it's probably still best just to wait for a normal proper big drop. Or the next upcoming Walmart restock for the Walmart Plus, which will probably be coming sooner rather than later. And it would just make a lot of sense. But it really just kind of stinks that these scalpers just can't give up. They just can't let this go. And it's even the same thing for the Xbox, where it's like on its last legs. And we have all these scalpers and botters that are still trying their best to buy out stock the best they can. And I do kind of feel like whenever they just kind of like let that release go and let that lever kind of fly and like let the water ride, whatever good metaphor you guys want to chime on in, then we can finally go and see probably a huge influx of more stock. Because I'm sure a lot of these big scalping groups are probably still sitting on stock right now, and I'm sure a lot of them are kind of just waiting for the best opportune moment. Whether it's for them maybe to sit on, funny enough, maybe another six months if they want to risk it for the holidays, because it is slowly getting up there, slowly but surely. Uh, but I do kind of feel like with Sony themselves saying that they're going to be making more consoles and producing as much as they can and keep on going as much as they can, I do kind of really feel like it's going to be a little bit more of a struggle for them, mainly because you would assume they'd be able to go and sell them no matter what. But as these price points keep on getting closer and closer to normal retail, they're not making as much money. It's not worth it. And that's once again why I kind of feel like a lot of these third-party sellers are probably just like setting up maybe even a bot on these buys where they, if they ever see it on a cheaper price, they try to buy it on up. We could maybe even see them even canceling some of these like say StockX orders where maybe they have to sit for two weeks and they try to be like, nope, I'm going to buy up the stock, and then the person who's trying to go and send out the stock, whatever, they cancel it, and they don't actually have a chance to get their consoles at the end of the day. Uh, mainly because they don't want to buy it. They're just trying to get fake buys to kind of manipulate the market price to keep it on up. Hopefully a lot of the stuff I said kind of makes sense, fingers crossed, but it does kind of seem like a lot of these consoles are just not making sense, and these third-party selling prices that you get more for less are also not making sense, and it does kind of seem like these scalpers are just trying on any way they can to maintain up these as long as they possibly can. So a lot of weird stuff, a lot of strange stuff going on. So kind of give me your thoughts and comments down below. Or if you guys even got your consoles throughout these past few days as well, leave a comment down below. 
And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon links down below, as well for the signups, the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow, the Weebles and all the other good stuff too, as well down below. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching and hanging out and chilling in the first place.